So, hello and welcome. My name's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee. And I just wanted to make a quick video and discuss um, the twin needles. Now, try as I might, I cannot thread a needle on camera. I know. So I can't show you one because then I can't um, <laughs> sew with it because I can't thread it. So I've got the machine all set up and I'm sure you've heard mention of them before and I'm sure you know you may have even seen them in shops. So and they're basically a double needle and it fits in um, a single hole. So it's good. Now if your machine has the double ziggy zaggy lines then you can use it. It does say on the packet only for machines with um, I'm going to have to read it, it's really silly. For machines with a trans, I'm reading it in Polish now, a transverse, oh, I don't know, here we go, let's get it in English, suitable for a zigzag sewing machines with a transversal hook. So if your machine has a transversal hook, you can use these lovely double needles. And if you know what a transversal hook is, then please tell me, because I've never heard of it. Alright, so I've got it set up, I've got one lot of thread going round, and then I've got another lot of thread going round. And it's best to thread them separately, because if you thread them together, then you get knots. Okay, there we are. That's what it looks like. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it is really pretty. And then if I was to do the double row of stitches, convince the machine it really wants to do this. Um, then I turn the dial, I keep my bobbin on quite a loose thread because it's got a lot to do, and then I just let the machine sew it. Now when this machine was new, 40 years ago, this did turn at the same rate as that. There we go. So there's your double and your double stitches. Hopefully you can see them. Okay. And so you could just take the second wheel and put it down in there. But <coughs> it doesn't do it anymore. So um, we, um, we just have to accept that. Now, here for my sarong, I have a yard of fabric and I am going to use this lovely double zigzag stitch to seam the end of the fabric. So I'll just get it started and then I'll show you what it's going to look like. to stop and show you how it's done. So I'm following it along. I've already done this end. So it is a bit scruffy but you must admit if that goes through the wash then it's not going to fray and um, it's a bit like an overlocker stitch but not quite as heavy and as this is such a fine fabric I wouldn't want it to be any heavier. So we just keep on sewing really. Uh, you can either seam the end of the green ends or not. I must admit I haven't. I've just done it at the loose end. And I think that's a good place to stop. So, you can see what I was doing. So there we go. There we are. Now this sarong I want um, to do the handles because I know you can knot them but I always find that I, I just don't have enough hand space and yeah it's going to fall down sooner or later. So out of the yard of fabric I have taken two strips. Now I've already sewn on one strip and I'm just going to sew on another one. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm folded down to the end here and I'm running a straight line of stitches along. And the only reason I've changed machines is 
so that I don't have to thread the needle. Now of course you don't have to sew the straps, well you don't even have to put the straps on, but you can just buy some nice ribbon or something to tack on as it were. But I want to do this so I'm going to do this. Now the nice thing about making your own sarongs is that you can choose the length. Um, I'm really short so <laughs> a long one I'd trip over. Now I'm going to fold it again and I'm going to fold it again over the first layer of stitches. <laughs> now officially, technically, what you're supposed to do when you make these straps is you're supposed to iron the fold, iron the fold and then fold the two over together. This stuff won't iron. So, I'm giving it a bit more structural support by just running a couple of layers of stitches over. That's grand. So, I've got my strap here. I want to, I've got one on already, save time, and then I am just going to find the right corner, trust me, <laughs> yes, even if you have to do it and check twice, then that's fine. So now that I'm fully on the strap, I'm going to reverse over those first stitches, I want it quite secure. to come down and sew this on there. So I want it quite nice and loose. There we are. Now, although this machine doesn't do double stitching, it does have a couple of stitches that the first machine doesn't have. So um, it's all good. It's all good, we can forgive it. And especially for me, it's really good to have two machines with one to have a backup because I'm terrible, I go too fast. There we are. Oh, I really should have paused the camera actually. It's not a good look, is it? Let me move you around. So there we are, we've got a sarong with the handle so that your hands are free. And I'm just going to bring you up to the sewing machine. Let me turn down my little screen so I can see it. Oh, you might be too close, so you've got um, terrible blurriness. That's the button I'm talking about, wiggly ziggly lines. And the one next to it is the wiggly ziggly straight lines. And these are the needles I'm talking about, which are... And... Hmm, sort of double goes in that end and then you've got the double needles at that end okay thank you for watching do give these double needles a so uh, a, a little bit of a go if you've got what this type of machine and um yes i will um catch you again soon please like please subscribe and thank you ever so much for watching